a blessed day viewers and subscribers welcome to the boss with another video please put a like and leave a comment all right guys this is an exclusive story i want everybody to listen you have a lot of women out here say they want i want an american man zin the lady uh, get introduced to a man from america by her friend and she take a beta married him and all hell broke loose when she forget her paper and she said the man are one of the nastiest man she ever meet on the face of the earth. Zane, someone want to listen to her story. She said, if you change her voice a little because she no want her co-worker them and people who watch, uh, watch my channel hear her voice. And, you know, because she said sometimes she ain't talk about it. She also have video clips that she sent me for back up her story. So, I think I did do a similar story like this with a lady the other day. So, why? Big up my Jamaican ladies, them overseas, Canada, all over. Jamaican born, where they all over the world. Big up on yourself and like this video, share it. Big up, I want to thank everybody who support the channel and like the stories them. All right, so, we could drive and listen. All right, my friend. Yeah, where you saw going now? All right, so, mm. one of my girlfriends got married to a person overseas, right? Mm -hmm. So, what about the story that the same place, so... Um, men are the cool. So she got married to an overseas individual. His best friend saw my picture and then he wanted to beat me. So he kept reaching out, but I kept ignoring him. So my friend said to him, he said, come on, man. The least you can do is say hi. You know, and if it happens, anything happens from there, happens from there. So cool. Yeah. We reached out a few more times and eventually I responded. So we started communicating. Um, I want to say 2019. In 2019. Um, so, you know, we meet each other, we just do the over the phone conversation and whatever. So, the first time I went to have been in 2019, like seven months or so, eight months after my meeting, my go up. So, in going up to meet him, the conversation was when you come up, we'll decide whether or not we're going to get married. Uh, you know, let's see what happens. But he had proposed to me because when did I call a month into our conversation, he's like, yeah, I'm wanting a married want to whatever let's get married or whatever so mr james and i could try you know talking and then when i will come up if we, if we feel like we're much like that then we can take it to the other level cool all right so i'm gonna go up for the christmas and when i went up for the christmas um of course in the side so i mean i know that i'm gonna come back to jamaica and when i'm married we have a lot of do it and done so after we got married now the conversation was Mm. The email of her for me is from overseas. Mm -hmm. For me, to come up. But in at the same time, you know, COVID hit. Okay. So when COVID hit now, he's like, yeah, we have to just make up a mind and just do what we do. You have to be here because every time it is supposed to go. So we're supposed to go up at intervals. Like whenever people work to do, we go up and search so and come back home. Okay, so this man, what you know about him? So you, you, you just get, I try a friend link, make it just give in. I'm a friendly, right? And you know, so the fair of man, I give me all. Oh, he's a good person. Oh, really? You know, the whole, yeah, so him, um, people that might tell me the same, but she tell me some, yes, I'm a fair of man, tell her, he's a decent person. And to be honest with you, like, he was really nice. Like, our conversations were good. He must have all the right things. I was in a horrible situation um, with my child's father. So, really kind of just want to come out at that time, just. You know, you just want to change your theory, change, and then he's older than me. So I, mean, I said, all right, I'm going to talk to somebody who's older than me. At the time, he was uh, five years older. Um, yeah, he was about five. He is five years older than me. So uh, that's not how much I get. Why am I remember? So all I know, I was uh, 44 and I'm 49. Right. Mm. Right. Something, somebody about so, I said, I never talked to him. It seemed like him having head on him, but because he's a big man. Yeah. Cool. So, he said all the right things. Um, everything seemed perfect. You know, and we, uh, when we went to find, you know, the vibe was still there. Everything was kind of vibing just the same way. So, we decided to say, all right, we're going to get married. We're not doing a sex before marriage either. So, I think we we'll wait so long. I could just wait and wait the night, no, we'll consummate and whatever. Cool. Everything seems fine and dandy. Well, and they come and look fast in them because uh, out of them is yeah. done. So, yeah, so you don't want to make it into pum pum? No, because we decide so. No, we decide so. We're going to just wait because I was only there for three weeks, you know. So, 
saying in three weeks. So, hold on, I'm going to come back to the conversation again. <laughs> so, I want to be the one that was pushing All right. for that. Yeah. And if I'm me alone, I say, come on, let me see what I'm going to say. But he must say, mm. no, man, let me, you understand? Yeah.
And they said the problem starts. That's a one. Then we notice, say, in the two go take showers. Ooh. Yes. Uh-huh. In the light beard. Now bear in mind, my ex-husband, because he's now ex-husband. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you something. The guy we are talking, mm -hmm. he's a born American or a Jamaican who... Born American. No, born American. Oh, born me hear about the pattern you're going to talk. Listen to me, man. I'm going to tell you, I used to hear it, but I didn't know how bad it was. Because in my mind, it couldn't have been that bad. Like, God, no. Nothing could have never gone. So somebody could have never just get up and ask them and talk about so. So me used to say, people probably just exaggerate or whatever. And I know us Jamaicans, like, we, we clean, we take cleaning to a whole different level. But let me tell you something. The level of nastiness for me and talk about this boss, never send some video to your phone because my upper back up, Mr. Turner, because there's no way that you have to understand what me and sit here without seeing it for yourself. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. So we started having problems. So we got clean person. We can't take the nastiness. But my tell you, say, we spend the whole night. I clean the house. But my daughter, well, all right, I said that, me sick, me sick, me sick, me sick, me sick, me sick, me sick like, <laughs> Because me didn't know if I had a dirty place and me not used to it, I was just so freaking sick. Me couldn't, me couldn't catch my breath for the most part. I sick for about three weeks. And then I find like every time I go into the bedroom, at that time they get sick. So me I say, oh, what could I cause it? But then he had a bed in the bedroom, which is a king size bed, very big bed. So I always said to him, say, hey, do me a favor and just like come help me move the bed so I can sleep. Underneath it. Because you know, we Jamaicans say when we are clean, we move around furniture and whatever, but I couldn't move that because it was just that big. And I tell myself that I couldn't move it. And one day I just get mad when he's gone and work. And I said, No, something about that room here, I sit there. Because this room in the living room, which is the area where they already clean out, I'm mm. good to go. But anytime I go into the bedroom, I'm sick. Yesterday, I went to me pull away that the bed then. The man name, bone, chicken, everything we can think of a fling on and eat the bed. You serious? Every, I swear to God, everything we can think of. So I name mean, myself fling them on and eat the bed. So then you start to realize, I'm going to that that look like said garbage, but that's how it is, you know. That's how I just put this on garbage. Listen to me. I said, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. They took my file and clean out in the road. My boy. That was what my source of discomfort was. Because so much garbage did underneath the bed. It was ridiculous. So we started arguing because of stuff like that now. You know, when he realized, say, all right, may I talk to him about them something I'm very spiteful. Very, very spiteful. So it reached the point where he didn't want to do nothing for me. And then, like him tell me, say, come man, because we're going to do this and we're going to do that and whatever. We're not going to do nothing of the sort. Mm -hmm. The man, look, me reach up there. He didn't tell me, say, well, man, come up, me not to carry that even closer. Mm -hmm. And one man said to me, say, walk with your things, I mean, mm -hmm. you can't walk with everything, but walk with him, not for yourself and the kids. Good things, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. That's even that the man no one buy for me. What? That's even underwear. Mm. That's even underwear. No, me no one gave us a team say, hey, you can't carry me, go to one of Victoria's Secret. The man said, what's up, man, your ears are doing at them the fun today? Uh-uh. He was rude. He was disrespectful. And tell you anything will come out because know that he has you where he wants you. And feel like, so, all right, I might be. Uh, every time we talk to you, what about poor country? Uh -huh. What about poor country? Uh -huh. Hey, one well, of the time it gets so mad of, of him saying that to me. And me and him, we were at it. We were at it. And then one of the things we did do too, he never won't give me no phone. No, look, no phone to me can't even for call within the US. Mm -hmm. So I still have my Jamaican number, right? But if I'm not in Wi Fi, can I use? You know, say, me can't use it. Mm -hmm. So that was an issue, right? So, so we used to talk to him, but I guess the team said it doesn't make any sense. Oh, backtrack again. So when we come up in by share police, I car to me because they say must surprise me or whatever. Nice car. So we come up and we see the car. It was really nice and whatever. Me and the man catch up. You know, no say The man no do not do nothing. Stop the payment on the car. And when me get up one morning, the car no out of door. Me no car. The man take me back in car. A few times, like every time I catch up, I'm like, I'm going to take for the car. I'm going to go work and take for the car.
So when you ask for nothing, you're not going to get it. And it, it was just horrible. So I sit down and I sit down and I take more time. I say, I don't beg nobody, you know, but I have to reach out to people because at one point, I'm not going to tell them, I don't want to go back home. But when I take more time, I say, I'm never going to go back home. So I give up everything. I sell my care, I give up my furniture, them, everything. I don't have nothing. So, because I pretty much was coming to start a life here. And I start reach out to people. I mean, I say, all right, this is what's happening to me. Let me reach out to my aunt and my sisters, my cousin. I have one ex. I'm going to reach out to him. I'm going to say, hey, he's the type of person where we're not, we're not involved. We haven't been involved for years. But he's the type of person that if I'm going through something, I'm going to reach out to him. He might to help me if he's in our position. Yeah. But we haven't spoken for like about four or so years. I'm going to say, no, I'm going mean, to no, say, if I need nothing, I'm going to reach out to that person. I'm going to help me. And let me tell you, him, my auntie, my sister, I'm a cousin. Everybody rally around. Me all have a best friend. I'm a best friend. I send money from Jamaica come give me. Because she said, all right, when most of this need for do, I mean, I send money come. My auntie used to send me a little change at my week time to me and my daughter then because she said, I know someone in the year on our girls down and need a little things and my whatever. Some used to get back. So his family, they love me. They absolutely love me. Like, we had a great, we still do have a good relationship. I mean, I'm the one that kind of stepped up because I'm no longer there. But his family loved me. And bigger brother, when a bigger brother realized them, I do him cussing dog or right now, I say, you're wrong. Mm-hmm. Or if you bring her, come here and I deal with her like that. When the people were for going, the brother looked for me and said to me, I have $500 for you, but I'm not giving it to you until the day when you're putting your face. I put it in a female, I know you're not going to get it. And trust and believe he did that. So when my daddy and me, I was also rolling out, also, also rolling, also rolling and get my paperwork money in, you know. Because at first, we were supposed to put in my big daughter's papers because she was 18. And you know, we have a limited time for putting her. So she was supposed to put in before me and then we put in me after. And then the baby could have stayed because she did young. So, you know, she have time. So when we realized that now, go and we said, all right, I'm focused on myself. I'm going to just start begging everybody. And I saw me get my paper, my money for putting in my paperwork. And he gave me $700 when I just moved here. And that $700 was to pay an agency for them to do the paperwork. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, me working at the law division, so me know little something about them. I have a paralegal um, diploma, so me know all of them little something there. I mean, I really know nothing about, about immigration law, but I just said, yeah, I'm going to figure it out because I don't have no money to pay nobody. And let me tell you something, man. Because everybody when we know with up here that have been through the system, you know, do them one thing and get them papers in any question on the album, I just reach out to people and I saw me get help. So I check that one and I say, All right, where did I do that part here? What is it? And then tell me I'm a do it. Mm-hmm. And so I submitted my paperwork myself. All right. So when that go in now and everything in terms of that when time for go um go in now to immigration or now go go. And he now go do this and he now go do So before we even get to that part of it, he moved out of the bedroom because we keep on talk to him about, you know, proper hygiene. And he's a beard. You don't work all day. And he work in a, the janitorial department. So you can't work as a janitor and then one come in mm-hmm. from work and just go straight in the bed. We don't work so me, me, Eh? We are Jamaican. We don't work with this style. No, you understand what I mean? So some of you team say, brother, you have to take your hygiene better than that. And they started noticing, like, I said, one day passed, they started noticing the underpants, the underpants, they don't change. Two days passed, and I'm not lying to him, as God has my witness, man, I make up my story for the man, I'm not trying to sensationalize this, so I can't, you can't get likes and clicks and views. The bottom line is, I am telling you the truth, the man will go all an entire week and not be here. So when we started paying attention and we started talking to him about the underpants, you know what the man do? The man stuff wearing underpants and no me can't focus on him up and just change the clothes. But as we said, in big, so you're smelling. So one day now we had an argument and I'm like, this doesn't make no sense. We say, this, this, is, this, is, uh, this is straight up disrespectful. Like, all you expect me to say, share a space and you know, beard. That doesn't make no sense. And then when Mr. talked to me, move out to the bedroom and said, him not, him, he's a big man and a bad man supposed to tell him when him to be in. If him to be in, the man goes as far as to tell me, if me can't show me that the bad boy, he said, if he be in every day, then we'll be in. I swear. No, sir. The man said, show me which part of the bed it said, be in every day. And then we do it. But you can't tell me what to do. I do what I please when I feel like it. Hey, listen to me. 
the man put me through some things. So this day, I think that I have PTSD because I can't. My house have to have a cool little, um, what do you call that something then? Freshness, air freshener. I have the plug in that I have the sprays. Because if you open the front, you don't think I can open the door, just reach out the yard. And the smell will lick you. When I say the man nasty, they say nasty in the store and that's every night. The man all are pissing out. Anything when you catch, he's pissing out. So I'll lick it in the house. Now, when I say he moved to our bedroom, he moved to the next bedroom that was literally looking into the bathroom. What is the reason for not getting up and just going into the bathroom to piss? He's eh? pissing out anything when he catch it. To the point where I started buying um um disposable plates and cups because me not trust him sell plate them after him to all the cup them same now pissing at them. Me never trust him same now pissing at the cup them so me start buying disposable so like when it's done you just dash it away. You know then you put something there and me tell it to the man that the place thing the man nasty uh, it, it was it was uh and those were the major things that we argued over day and night and night and day. The man um, and him threw the food under the bed, him threw it behind the couch. The living room, hey, one at a time, my back, my back would give way, my after their um, chiropractor. Because me, I keep on after I move the furniture and then for go behind them because, because him thinks that them so big, my neighbor, see? But you know what's at the place? It, it just feel heavy. Not sure you're clean, you feel heavy. So I'm always after I move the stuff them. And in moving one of the coaches in the living room, I pretty much bring out my back. You see, when I walk, when I move the time, I look behind it. Oh mm. gosh, man, I'm gonna send it to be to them. I'm gonna send them to your phone so you can't see them. I'm gonna delete them. Send them to them, I'm put them in my video. I'm gonna put them in my video. I'm gonna show you them, man. I'm gonna send them to you. So, um, all right, so we decided to, okay, this is just not working out. It's not work out. So anyway, when we're going and after we're going and we get the interview or whatever, surprisingly he did himself because at the end of the day, he'll never take all my papers. Um, so when I put in my papers, I put in my daughter paper. When fair paperwork now for comes through, we wanted one document from him and because he must try to spite me, the man said, no, give me, he was supposed to give me an updated job letter for her. That's a little cool one, so my big daughter decides that she no one no part of this and she actually went back to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So she go and come when she feel like it. So her visa never did mess up. She just left before all of that. Mm -hmm. So um when she had paperwork now, all them asked for was an updated job letter. And the man said, nah, give me the notes and I have a refile and get a different points of your wow. Just to spy me. So eventually the relationship ended. But let me tell you why. As I'm saying, always I try to do things and to spite me. So my daughter's school bus used to drop her off. So he works the night shift, I work the morning shift. So it, it was supposed to be a balance. So in now go off and go work until 11 o'clock in the night and then come off 7 o'clock in the morning. So while I'm at work, the school bus would have dropped off my daughter and whatever. So show him why I spite me. You know the man look for me one day and tell me, son? Him, mm. I go. Call the police and tell the police and say, I'm going to leave the house when the bus come. Let them drop off, and as soon as they drop off, I'm going to leave. And call the police and tell them, say, I'll leave her at home by herself. Now, you can do me all the things in the world where you want me to do me. But if you want to see how I move towards my kids, it's done. It's finished. So when he did that, so he tell us, Mr. Everything what he do is to spite me. But he didn't know that he's a girl was very resilient. And I'm used to taking care of myself. So you can't spite somebody where they are of them head on them body, right? My mind never in a certain position because I just came here and I never did have my papers on whatever, but the minute I got my papers, I got a job like me get my papers, the mayor, and I get a job the, um, the August, right? I'm still working at that job, by the way. So, um, as we say, the tip of the car for me, so I never have a car, I was using his car. And I can, that's something that what he starts fighting with now. We want him to no cell work with him, no, he needs to carry my car, come in. Da, da. So I decided I'm going to buy myself a car. Mm -hmm. So um, may I start saving. And it's just something where he's he not get it. He don't get it. Like, we as Jamaican, we know about cars now for save. Mm -hmm. So when I, was, um, when I eat out like that, I'm not the type of person where I put their restaurant all the time. If I do go to a restaurant, it's a, it's a special occasion. That's a treat to me. I don't have a problem for coming home and cook my food. So when I started working, me decided to my money, I'm going to go towards the down payments on my car. So I'm going to 
you know, eat out and whatever. And of course, me take care of the bills and the house. Like, me and him sit down and we discuss and whatever. I'm say, all right, I'm going to take care of it. Me tell you, every bill where the man give me, outstanding. Every bill where the man give me, outstanding. And me decide, say, you know what? Me not say, I'm going to pay that to me. And me, I'm going to pay my role. I am not one of the female them where, oh, me have a man. So, me just sit down and the man take care of everything. That is bullshit. No, to me, I can't even have the mentality there. Me no have it and me no want no friend with us. What become of the person them who introduce you? I am not talk because um so the wife of the other person like but they understand the situation but because of him best friend mm. is like them I try to keep out of it so eventually that like, me and my friends our friendship end up ending because she friends free up conversation with me because our husband no wants her to talk to me because him feel like never influence her to meet him because I left. So it ended up that we started having conflict. So I just leave everybody alone. So I just focus on myself. So I eventually moved out. I didn't even tell him when I was moving. Mm. But just one Friday morning when he come, I got somewhere because he didn't tell me something I couldn't get nowhere for rent because you know, America. He tell me all type of something, but never do my research. Mm -hmm. So when I did my research, I realized I didn't need him, especially when time I get a green card, they already tell us they have car rent and buy a house and whatever. Mm -hmm. So, I start look for place for rent and in no time, and because my work, I'm back in the court system now working as well. Mm -hmm. I'm working at the courts, so a lot of the landlords, me and them cross paths because of my job. So, oh. when we put out the application, they actually reached out to me and we get somewhere. Wow. So, my move. I never said nothing to you, so I get the place and I take time and move my things and man, you know, I go on the move for something or whatever. And then the Friday morning, you know, the Thursday night, when you go with Mr. King, said, I'm up tomorrow, you know. He said, what? I told him we never have no argument, Mr. We never have no argument. You forget the last conversation. And it, as we said, every time we have an argument, it's time for come out time house, for going back to my poor country. That is just the same thing, everything. Come out to my house, go back to your poor country. You know, go back to your poor country, go back to your poor country. And I hear that, this and I hear that. that. But say, you're far from my country where you've never been outside of yours. So but he must well, he must say country mm -hmm. poor. Me can guarantee you say me and Wally for Jamaica can live better than him. Cause him sound like a broke ass. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now remember, so you say Jamaica and smell it black. Then they come back and you know, say dirt poor people and they're not true. Right. Ross. I oh, want wow. to say, I black the man, the black 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 man, the and then, I buy my house. Wow, nice. Yes. I love that. I buy my house. So, at the end of the day, listen, it's, it's, if you don't know where you're getting up, you know, and if you're not strong, you can lose your weight. But this is why you're firm, and you know what you're about, 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 I yeah, have a stable balance. I'm coming on one job, but I don't have a job, I get a million dollars, but I don't lift out my partner then. Mm -hmm. Me, I lift out my partner then. Mm -hmm. I need to tell them, say, if you don't know nothing about me, anything I want to put my mind towards, yeah, I, I am you. going to do it. When I reach up, I'm a point from the courthouse when I say, I'm going to go forget the license. I'm going to turn to him and say, yes, I'm going to come back from work. Mm -hmm. And they say, you say it like you're short today. I say, I'm coming right back here to work. And let me tell you something. Speak it into I read some work here. Speak it into being. I read some work. Yeah, read some work. I'm going to tell them, say, if I never buy my house this year, it would have been the beginning of next year. Wow, nice. I know, my friend Errol right. always said, everybody have a story who come to America. And when he talk, people say, oh, I'm negative. No, no, go so. If you can come and get in a nice job and you work and you make it. Everybody have a story, and every story me here is not a, a heaven story like you. It is not glory. Look for your daughter. Your daughter frustrated and says she can't bother with you and go back. Yeah, she said she don't have nothing to do with it. She don't have nothing to do with it. And she ended up getting pregnant because she's now 24. She ended up getting pregnant because she was pregnant. She ended up getting 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 pregnant. She ended up get
said, one of the time me and the man kick off, you know, my daughter, if you know nothing about my daughter, she's very sweet, she's full of manners. If nobody tell me that my daughter disrespecting you, must have done something for her to disrespect you. And she's not like that. So me and the day we're arguing, she turns to me and she said, Uncle, I don't think you're understanding why mommy's upset, so let me break it down for you. The man turned to my daughter and said, Bitch, I'm not talking to you. Mm-hmm. Yes, so when you say that again, me and the man was saying, I'm coming in. I fly up in my face and I grab one night in the kitchen and I say, Who are you chat to, so? I said, let me tell you this. You should, and that, that was the biggest turn off right this for me. And that was like three weeks after we came. Because we were having so much, it was just a lot of things that was happening. And then she you knows, she tried to be the peacemaker. And we never look for me eating you up. And I come talk about bitch, me not talk to you. You know, but not talk to her like that. Careful, I would never talk to her like that. Mm. Who the f are you? Sure. Can I talk to my child like that? Sure. So me get mad to the point. I may have to end up calling the police for myself. Because Mrs. Sammy never mm -mm. I say you don't mean anything, talk to me anyway, but when they come on to mine, then I play. I don't play about them. And especially because she was not being disrespectful. She was just, she had tried to keep the peace. Mm. And I try to explain to him because she said maybe he not understand because of culture clash and whatever. So, you know, she had tried to break it down. The man was so rude. All right, so I'm going to wrap up now. Um, you're divorcing, mm -hmm. you're currently divorced now. I divorced him. I divorced him last year, May. Okay. So. I divorced him last year, May. Um, he was surprised because, you know, a few countries in my America, so I expect that him mm. would I do all the things them. And, yeah, but I took the script on him and let him know. So, listen, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell this to my Jamaican kids. This one will not come. Only not make nobody walk around because they will do that, and especially because they think you don't know. You have rights just as they have rights. There are there are laws that protect them, that protects you as an immigrant, and you need to know your rights. And don't sit down and make none of them walk over you because this is what they do. Them come over country and them them love bomb because that's what the council calls. So them love bomb you and they carry you here, and when they carry you here and they now get you conform to how they want you. Then the ill treatment starts and then tell you all type of something and you go call immigration for me and you go do this and you go do that. I did my research for myself. I mean, really, I first and foremost, whenever they come up here illegal anyway, I'm come to my husband. So you're not going to have me here and treat me like some in body and I'm going to accept that. And this is what I want a lot of Jamaicans to understand. All oh, when you come up illegal, you have rights. Don't let them walk over you. And if you don't know, do your research. Right. Enough people I get hurt than the research for choose, yeah. Yeah, do your research, do your research, talk to other persons that were here before you, ask them how them do it. Don't just sit down and make them walk on you because they will. What a story guys, what a story. Wow, this lady is a real warrior and a fighter. Wow, guys, wanna like the video if you reach this far. Like it and comment and tell me what you think. What's your experience leaving from Jamaica and being in the state, Canada, England? Is it easy life, easy sailing? You jump right in our riches, or you have to work your socks off, you get used, abused? Share your story here, 8762773254. i really proud of her, and she's a strong, strong Jamaican woman. We will up her head, and I wish her the best. But Jano Star, set away. Just imagine you have to go through them things, guys. People are sabotage you. Oh, my God. Anyway, guys, love you know? I come live, my God.